In this lesson, we're going to be factoring trinomials with leading coefficients that are not equal to 1. So that right there is going to be anything but 1. And this method is called the AC method. The reason it's called the AC method is we have three terms, and the number in front of the x squared is known as the A, the middle term is the 5 is known as a B, and C is the last term, which is negative 12. So we're not worried about the variables, we're just taking the coefficients in front of it. And we call it the AC method because we are going to multiply A times C. So that's going to be 2 times negative 12, which is negative 24. So what we need is we need numbers that multiply to negative 24. So our factors are 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, and 4 and 6. So not only do they need to multiply to negative 24, but they're actually also looking for values that add up to 5. Now it needs to multiply to a negative 24, which means one of these needs to be positive and one of them needs to be negative. And these two right here differ by exactly 5, and we will make the 3 negative, so that way a positive 8 and a negative 3 will make a negative 5. So perfect. So what that did for us is it's how we break apart our middle term. We're going to break apart our middle term into 2x squared minus 3x plus 8x minus 12. So that's all that it did was it breaks apart these two middle the middle term into these two terms, and if you add them back together, it makes 5x. Now you could have put the 8x here and the negative 3x here. It's going to get you the same factors in the end. So what this just became is a factor by grouping problem. We have four terms, and we're going to try and factor out greatest common factors out of each side. So what do these two have in common? They have an x, so we'll factor the x out of both. That'll be a 2x minus 3. And in order for factor by grouping to work, it needs to be another 2x minus 3. What can we factor out of an 8 and a negative 12 to make it 2 and a negative 3? We can factor out a positive 4. So now, what do these two have in common? They both have 2x minus 3, so we're going to factor out a 2x minus 3, and you're going to be left with an x plus 4, because when you factor something out, they essentially go away. And those are your factors for that. Okay, so let's try another one. So if we had a 6t squared minus 17t plus 12, our AC is going to be 6 times 12, which is going to be 72. So we need factors of 72. So 1 and 72, 2 and 36, 3 and 24, 4 and 18, 6 and 12, 8 and 9. Now we need things to multiply to 72. This is telling us that our signs are going to be the same. So in order for things to add up to a negative 17t, we need these two numbers to add up to a negative 17. Well, the only one that adds up to 22, this adds up to uh, 18, this with negatives would add up to the negative 17. Perfect. So again, it's exactly how we separate our factors. So 6t squared minus 8t minus 9t plus 12. So those two terms or how we break up the negative 17t. Goes into a factor by grouping problem again. So we'll separate it out here. What do these two have in common? They both have a 2t we can factor out. That would leave us a 3t minus 4. And again, the only way this is going to work is if we get another 3t minus 4. So what can you take out of a 9 and a 12 to make a 3 and a 4? So we can factor out a 3, but we also need to change their signs. We need a negative to become a positive and a positive to become a negative, so we're going to change the signs. Great, so we take a negative 3 from a negative 9, we'll get a positive 3. Take a negative 3 from 12, we'll get a negative 4. 
What do they have in common? They have 3t minus 4 is in common, and we're going to be left with 2t minus 3. Alright, that's the factors for that. So let's try one more. So if we have a 4x to the 4th plus 10x cubed minus 6x squared. So first thing we should always ask before we begin any process is, is there a greatest common factor we can take out? And I should have been asking that on all of those others, but they didn't. But this one does. We can take a 2x squared out of every piece. So we're going to do, factor that out. So this will become a 2x squared plus 5x divided by 2x squared minus 3. All right, so same issue. We have an AC method. So we're going to multiply 2 times negative 3 which is going to get us a negative 6, which is good. There's not a lot of factors for that. Um, we have a 1 and a 6, and a 2 and a 3. That's it. So which of these two, now the signs need to be different, which of these two are actually going to make a 5 with the signs being different? Here they make 5 if the signs are the same. Either they're both positives or both negatives, but we need it to be a negative. So this is the right combination, because a 6 and a minus 1, will get us our 5 with our signs being different. So, that is exactly how we separate it. And again, you could take the negative 1 or you can take the 6 first. It's not going to matter. You'll get the same factors in the end. So we'll take the negative, and if you need to, we'll put a 1 there. And then plus 6x minus 3. So this is how those two, how the middle breaks apart. Factor by grouping. And what can we take out of these two? We can take an x out, which would leave us with a 2x minus 1. We need another 2x minus 1 in order to, for this to work. What can you take out of a 6x and a 3? We can take a positive 3 out. What do they have in common? They both have a 2x minus 1. And an x plus 3 would be left after you factor out an x, 2x plus 1 out of each of them. Now, don't forget that we factored out a greatest common factor at the very beginning. That still is part of our factors, so don't lose it. And that is what that will factor into. All right, and that's factoring trinomials with leading coefficient not equal to 1 by the AC method.